losing fat, enhancing recovery, boosting immunity, protecting your joints, and improving your skin are a few of the benefits that bone broth is reported to provide. But what happens when the only change that I make to my diet is the addition of bone broth? I studied the history of its use, its nutritional profile, and drank bone broth every day for one month to find out. Before getting into all of that, we should probably first have an answer to the question, what is bone broth? Bone broth is a liquid made by simmering the bones and connective tissues of animals in water for an extended period of time. The simmering water extracts vitamins, minerals, collagen, and other nutrients from the bones, leaving us with a highly nutritious, easily digestible, low calorie liquid that should turn gelatinous when refrigerated. You can use this gelatin in recipes or reheat it and drink it by the glass. Therapeutic use of bone broth dates all the way back to the beginning of recorded history when Hippocrates, the ancient Greek physician and father of modern medicine, would prescribe bone broth to his patients. And human consumption of animal bones goes way back to before we even started recording history, invented pots, controlled fire, or became sapiens. In fact, the prevailing theory is that eating animal bones might be responsible for making us human. Nitrogen-15 isotope testing shows that humans started eating animal products around two and a half million years ago, the same time that paleoanthropologists start finding evidence of stone tool use through cut marks and fossilized animal bones. We don't find hunting tools until almost two million years later, indicating that early humans were scavengers eating the remains from the carcasses left by large predators. Rudimentary stone tools allowed our ancestors to crack open animal bones and eat the nutrient-dense marrow, which was inaccessible to any other animal. Shortly afterwards, we see an explosion in the size of the human brain, transforming us into bipedal hominids capable of understanding our own origins. This evolutionary theory moves into recorded history, where we see the prescription of bone broth by Chinese herbalists, Roman physicians, Jewish philosophers, and modern mothers. For a remedy to be this pervasive across cultures throughout history, it should mean that the ancient folklore is supported by modern science. And nutritional science shows that bone broth contains highly bioavailable nutrients in an easily digestible form. Bone broth is reported to improve fat loss and enhance muscle recovery by providing satiating proteins in a low calorie solution. Bone broth contains glutamine, which fuels our immune cells and repairs our gut lining, reducing inflammation and any associated illnesses. Bone broth also includes glucosamine, which can further reduce inflammation while protecting our joints and improving their function. Perhaps most important, bone broth is rich in collagen, which is the most abundant protein in the human body, making up 75% of our hair, skin, nails, bones, discs, and gut lining, while making up roughly 0% of most people's diet. In addition to providing all of the previously mentioned benefits, collagen also improves skin, thickens hair, and strengthens bones. The collagen we find in bone broth contains the amino acid glycine, which counteracts the life-shortening effects of the amino acid methionine, which is common in meat. These benefits sound pretty miraculous, but like bone marrow kickstarting human evolution, the nutritional benefits of bone broth are mostly theoretical. There are no studies demonstrating that bone broth provides any of these benefits, and the exact nutrient levels are unknown even to companies that make bone broth. So I'm searching online and I can't find any accurate breakdown of the nutrient profile for bone broth, maybe because it varies so much from batch to batch and what's being put in it. So I emailed a company that sells beef bone broth to ask what the nutrient profile of their product is, and they respond by sending me a picture of the nutritional label and said that will be all on the nutrients for our bone broth. I guess nobody knows the exact quantities of the nutrients in here. To learn if the historical and nutritional claims about bone broth have any merit, I ran my own experiment adding bone broth to my diet and drinking it every day to see how it affects me. I'm hoping that this bone broth gives me some new health benefits, but at this point, I'm gonna be happy if it can eliminate some of the pains that my diet's been causing me. Before adding bone broth to my diet, I, like many people, was not meeting the recommended daily allowance for several micronutrients. I'm getting cramps that are more painful than some of my broken bones, 
and somehow my foot became so sore that I have to drag my leg around while I'm walking. These pains could be caused by a lack of electrolytes, including calcium, which is exceptionally low in my diet and supposedly high in bone broth. Oh, woke up in the middle of the night with my calf cramping so bad that I thought the muscle was gonna tear off the bone. It might take more than three days for these calcium levels to replenish, but I don't know how much longer I can wait. After restricting myself to less than 15 grams of salt and continuing to drink bone broth every day, my foot pain disappeared and the cramps that had been plaguing me for months seem to have finally gone away. Which is great considering that I started drinking bone broth right before I got back to the place most responsible for producing cramps. It's been about three and a half months since I've had access to a gym and I haven't been this excited for a workout in as long as I can remember. After immediately returning to the same weight that I was lifting before quarantine and continuing to work out for more than a month, I still have not experienced any joint pain. I'm gonna get some knee or elbow pain every time I'm warming up for a set of squats or bench press, but I've been back in the gym for over a month and a half and there's still no joint pain. I can't say for sure that the bone broth is healing my joints, but it's definitely curing my morning depression. Getting out of bed and focusing on work has become a serious challenge ever since I cut coffee out of my diet, but this bone broth is surprisingly satisfying. I've never been a fan of soup, so enjoying the taste of bone broth is almost as shocking to me as the amount of weight that I've gained since adding it to my diet. Bone broth's supposed to help you lose weight, but I think I've gained almost 10 pounds since adding it to my diet. Bone broth probably isn't causing me to gain weight, but it's definitely not helping me lose fat and the collagen doesn't appear to be providing any aesthetic gains. The collagen in bone broth is supposed to improve your skin and thicken your hair, but I seem to be getting a pimple and my hair has never felt this thin. There are some other nutrients still missing from my incredibly restrictive diet that might be responsible for causing these issues, but bone broth certainly isn't helping. Bone broth's claim to fame is its collagen content. Let me talk to you about bone broth. What yeah. is all the rage about? Collagen. Mm. And what collagen protein can do for you, how it's upbuilding, how it gives you beautiful skin. But the collagen we get from our diet doesn't get absorbed and utilized as collagen in our bodies. It's broken down into individual amino acids, which our bodies absorb and utilize as needed. But there's actually no instruction book that came with the collagen you ate in bone broth to make sure that you take those individual amino acids and once you absorb them, make them back into collagen. So that's one of the biggest myths out there, that the more collagen in bone broth, the more collagen you're gonna manufacture. Bone broth is not the fat-burning fountain of youth that evangelists claim, but it's still worth consuming. Dietary collagen does not get directly used as collagen in our bodies, but the individual amino acids are still quite valuable. Bone broth won't cause you to burn more fat, but it will satiate your appetite with a delicious taste and a lot of nutrients. Its flavor and temperature make it a great replacement if you want to cut back on coffee, and its electrolyte contents make it a fantastic beverage for eliminating cramps. It might even protect your joints and repair your gut, reducing pain and preventing ailments. Bone broth can be a cheap and delicious way to get highly bioavailable nutrients in an easily digestible form. I'm going to do a live stream this weekend to talk more about what I learned about bone broth and experience while drinking it and answer any of your questions. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I go live. You'll also get to follow along as I investigate the benefits and experience the effects of each new food as I build up my diet one food at a time. If you're enjoying this content, please consider supporting this channel through Patreon. Your support will allow me to continue creating these videos and getting you the most honest and objective results. Thank you for watching and I'm excited to continue sharing this journey with you.